Welcome back to Portland Cooks. I'm Nick Miles, and we are in our Portland Cooks studio, which is the Bradley Design and Education studio, where you can actually come and see all of your Bradley, Sub-Zero, and Wolf products and find out about the best kitchen that there is. Now, we are with Mike. You're from Beaches. You're the executive chef there, and we've made a couple of salmon dishes. We've got one more to go. Potato encrusted salmon with a, remind me. Charred tomato sauce. So, so what are the ingredients? Tomato, onion, garlic, a little olive oil, and we're going to roast them off. And we'll just, and this is kind of a quick one. It's not precise. You can just throw big chunks in. We're going to put them into the convection oven and roast them off until they're almost charred. And we'll, uh, Excellent. Now, while you throw that into the oven, let's take a look at this week's mixology segment. So with Tristan here from the East Burn, and you're going to show us how to make something called a Colonel Karen? That is correct. Can't wait. Show us how it goes. All right. So it's going to be about an ounce of Indio lemongrass lime. You're going to throw some fresh lime juice in there and top it with ginger ale. Another name for a Moscow mule, but Colonel Karen's that much better. Excellent. Now. I'm going to dig into this Colonel Karen and see if I can get myself promoted. If you want to know how to make it, the recipe is on our website, portlandcookstv.com. Cheers. So, of course, you can get all our mixology information on our website, portlandcookstv.com. Mike, is your stuff ready? You put the tomatoes we'll and stuff it. in the oven? Grab. We'll, we'll grab that. And uh, we are making the potato encrusted salmon along with that uh, charred tomatoes. Oh, okay. wow. Sizzle. So, we've got some nicely charred tomatoes. I will supplement the charring with a handy blowtorch. It's kind of fun. Kids, don't do this at home. There we go. Now, the char, I'm doing that for so it'll add a little extra flavor. We're going to put it all into a dish. Nice. We're going to add about a half cup of white wine. Is that enough? Okay, three quarters. A, a little dash white wine. of balsamic vinegar. A little seasoning salt and some capers. And if you want to take the hand mixer and start blending that up. Okay. Oh, nice. Now that smells really good. Now he's going to puree that until it's as smooth as possible. It might be a little chunky, but that a little character to it. While he's doing that, I am going to start shaving some potatoes. I have a, a mandolin here and do some thin sliced potatoes. And you can see how thin these are. And I'm going to take my last salmon filet and just kind of wrap it around. What I'm basically making is like a hash brown wrapped salmon. All right, a little olive oil. I'm going to do a medium heat because I want a nice crispy golden potato crusted salmon. How am I doing? Doing great. I'm just going to finish that off with a little bit of fresh basil. And we'll just chop that up. And we're good to go with that sauce. Very simple, minimal ingredients, but all of them have a lot of flavor. There we go. We'll stir that up in just a minute as the salmon's cooking. Now it looks like the salmon is about done. Enough time has passed to make it nice and, and crispy and the potatoes look like they're crisping up well. What do we do to finish it off? All right, well, as that's finishing off, we're gonna take some of our charred tomato sauce, put it on the plate. I like a lot of sauce because you got little potatoes in there and the tomatoes and potatoes complement each other really nice. So we'll finish that off. Take that, finish that. Then we're going to take a little avocado and we'll garnish it with a little bit of lemon wedge.
and you're good to go. There you are. Absolutely excellent. Okay, well, when we come back, we're going to put all of this stuff out on the table, and we're going to take a look at what we have made today in Portland Cooks.